Hey guys, I thought I would do this update <laughs> up in a tree, which is the place I spend um, most of my quiet time. And it's just right above all the, the like dormitory houses that everyone stays. There's, there's like more than 15 different houses that everyone lives in. So the tree is right in the middle of the base, but this uh, update is called The World May Never Know. Not everything here has been easy by any means. It has been a great challenge working through the good and the bad and the ugly that Jesus is leading me through. Over and over, thankfully, I keep ending up back at his greatness and supremacy. As I wonder if I'm really supposed to be here, and I want to run because of how difficult it can be at times, he reminds me of what he is doing amidst my shortcomings. His splendor is so much more. From time to time, I get enough sense to take my eyes off of the dirt at my feet in order to see the sunset on the horizon, his work of art. The beautiful shades of red that come in the form of a woman named Bonnie. We meet weekly and go over her years and years of experience, which came after consulting a half dozen organization, trafficking organizations in Cambodia. The shades of orange that come in the form of a man named Douglas, who is the only person here who knows both English and Chichewa fluently and has agreed to give me lessons. The surprising purples that come in the form of a dear friend, Callie, that I've known for the last five years. We are both from Missouri and both separately applied for the school without knowing that the other was. <laughs> Having one familiar face here has meant the world and is the grace that I've needed to get through the less than gracious times. We can't forget the prevailing yellow, Michael. He is leading the Cambodia outreach that I will be going on in a few weeks. In the time here that we've gotten to know each other, he has shown me so much of the father heart of Jesus toward those who are perpetrators of sexual abuse. He also happens to be three years younger than I am. Jesus knows I only need to see one thing. When I wonder what hope looks like in the midst of feeling the brokenness of my own heart. When I get so frustrated after following Jesus for 21 years and still struggle with that, when I wonder how I can still follow him while he is still there, and if it will ever go away. When I put my hope in something and have expectations, but they let me down. He knows that I need to see the flooded sunset of his goodness. It, take, it takes my eyes off of my inadequacies and diverts them to his brilliance. I slowly stop looking at what I'm not and soak in what he is. I'm blown away by how Jesus brought me here. I'm blown away by how he has and continues to perfectly bring all of this into alignment. I'm blown away by his faithfulness amidst my la the lack of my own. Hebrews 10:14 says, "For by that one offering he forever made perfect those who are being made holy." That is crazy. And then this quote is just more of a concept. It's that moment when you realize that you are the boy always asking, how many licks does it take to get to the middle? And Jesus is the owl who says, one, two, three, and then always crunches right to the center of you. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Well, that is the update for now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye.